That's weak. Oh, raw. This is way bigger than the high school gym and the VFW and the state fair combined. Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the rings the same size. All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, we're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go meet Triple H and uh, try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. <laughs> <sighs> it wasn't his entire career history. Hey, Hunter, it's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things, but I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity, so you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster well, we he's have. about to be the other monster. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Not until your match, at least. He's like, oh, shit, that's a guy, big guy. Uh, I'm, I'm just suspending you. Uh, hey, Braun? I, I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. <laughs> I'm I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, <laughs> I'd like to survive tonight, if that's okay with you. What I meant was, in what type of match do you want to get these hands? Okay. How about a Falls Count Anywhere match? Let's have a Falls Count Anywhere match. I've won a bunch of those on the indies, so I like my chances. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're going to do what I want to do, because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way you can't run from me. I wasn't going to run for you anyway. <sighs> steel cage. Great idea. That was my second choice. Mm, I like the new steel cage, but I think he's gonna whoop my ass. I don't think I'm gonna have a chance. Dang, I got all that money. Okay, time to check if there's anything you want in the squirtables. Okay, go to the loot patch store to purchase loot from Logan's. Okay. Oh, Lost of Bliss. Go to the tryout match. Okay, let's talk about Lost of Bliss. Hey, I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Not bad. Oh yeah. Hey. Uh, dialogue breach. You can reach your first dialogue breach. This might be different conversations or outcome based on what you choose. So choose wisely. No, I would not say that. How tiny she is in person. Uh, if I some face of bronze. I've seen what he's capable of when he was my partner in the Mixed Match Challenge. Based on that, I suggest you start running. Now. Okay. Did I say anything else to her? Probably not. Hey, I've seen some of you. Oh, oh you thought I was serious? <laughs> I don't have time to watch nobodies like you. Especially nobodies who are going to get destroyed by Braun Oh, Strowman. you... Alright, I'm gonna change that to bad for what I wanted to do. Hey, I've seen I've seen what he's okay. capable of. We'll leave it there. I'm not gonna say that other thing. Cause I'm not gonna be rude to her. I'm not. I'm just not. Just don't talk to Baron Blade. It works for the WD in the past. Hey, nice for me. Just make the most of your opportunity, win or lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a 
Bootio's lunchbox if you're taking requests. Um, stop trying to get free stuff. Bootio's lunchbox. What, like a replica title belt? Um, Braun Strowman. Of course, just trying to keep the mood light. But if you do see a lunchbox lying around, All right. Options. Yeah, let's check that out too. Okay. Message from July 12, 2014. Hey, it's your dad. Sorry I can't make it to your Okay. Same stuff. I play a tree. I got nine points. Yay. Java. Okay. Charging up. Shut that real quick. Spend your first overcharge point. All right, sweet. I think I got one more. Damage rate.
Oh, boy. And his opponent, weighing in at 385 pounds. Oh. Need some candy to wake me up. This guy pulled up in the parking lot today and he was driving a bug exterminator van. Well, that's appropriate because he's about to get squashed by Braun Strowman. Ah! No, 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 right. Enjoying my uh nerds. I got my ass whooped. You did a good job out there. Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. Think it was enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey. I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Awesome. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. You did it. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my top guys. You'll be fine, though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry. What, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm going to go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I'm not trusting that. I, I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats. I'm, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Couldn't have done it without you. Actually, I was literally just offered an NXT contract, and I can't wait to get started. You should just skip NXT and go straight to the main roster. Actually, you know what? Hey, Triple H, you say listen to your audience? Well, the audience is saying that I'm good enough to go straight to the main roster, which actually, I think I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... <laughs> The next day.
proved it tonight by going toe to toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but. Less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. All right, do I get a choice here? Apologize. The fan attacked me first. I didn't even hit him. I am so sorry. I never intended for this to happen, and I can promise you it will never, never happen again. I didn't ask for an apology. I asked for an explanation. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans. It's unprofessional, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were caught on camera bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? Look, I was just having fun with the fans, okay? I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and then I was attacked. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. Understood. This is on you, too. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Uh, damn it. <laughs> ah! Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Now, come on. Grab your stuff. We gotta go. CJ, whatever his name was. Two days later. Just a minute. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. <sighs> it is too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No, better. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're going to stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been in NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean... What other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. Nah. It's too early for this. Mm. All right. More points. <laughs> No, so his dad passed away. I didn't know that. 
I just read that. So he keeps that message uh, from his dad. That's pretty cool. Uh, somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside, therefore doubling our capacity. <laughs> All right. All right. Good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh, yeah. For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? Oh, <laughs> that's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz? <laughs> it's all turning into chicken salad, my friend. Uh, yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word fun. fun. <laughs> Left corner, I tried to chase that you have a new podcast. I've got to listen to the latest podcast to hear what people are saying about you. To do this, blah, 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 blah. Well, okay. So, draw the podcast. His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happenings in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator Jack Tice. Who? Former wrestler now any promoter Baron Blade has been in the news along with his protege from BCW, who reports say had a contract offer on the table from WWE until he got into a fight with a masked fan outside the arena after his tryout match. Now word is Triple H was furious and pulled the contract offer the next day. We uh, tracked down the person who recorded the video of the altercation that went viral, and uh, he had this to say. I was recording the video on my phone when the guy in the mask came out of nowhere and attacked him. I didn't get a real good look at the mask guy, because it happened so fast, but from the way he was fighting, it seemed like he knew what he was doing. Like he wasn't just some regular fan. Interesting first-hand account on what went down, but uh, I wanted to hear from the man who's now capitalizing on this controversy. So uh, I reached out to BCW owner Baron Blade. Uh, here's a preview of what he had to say. Jack, you've been in this business for a long time, so you know it was once possible for a wrestler to be successful outside the WWE umbrella. And that's what I'm trying to do with BCW and Buzz. That's what we're calling him now, by the way, on account of all the buzz he's generating. But back to my point, which is, who knows what would have happened if Buzz signed with NXT? It might have been two or three years before he was called up to Raw or SmackDown, and there's no guaranteeing that would have even happened at all. But I'm helping him make his own success right now. BCW is small, and we can move fast to capitalize on all the attention. WWE is this huge behemoth of a company where you need to hold 25 meetings to make a decision that we can make in two minutes. Oh, I know all about that, believe me. And I'm not saying that BCW is going to take down WWE. I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. All I'm saying is that guys like Buzz and Cole Quinn have a lot more opportunities right now with me than they might ever have with WWE. 
Very interesting comments from Baron Blade, who is about to hold BCW's very first internet-only pay-per-view. Uh, Buzz, as Baron's calling him, has made his name online, and they're sticking with that platform for their show. That's a smart move, in my opinion. Uh, coming up, you'll hear much more from my conversation with Baron Blade, including who he thinks might have attacked his protege, Buzz. You don't want to miss out on that. But first, a word from our sponsors. From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host Pete Clark. Who? Uh, all right, yeah, you know, Pete. I, I'm, I'm just saying, Pete. You can't get into a fight with a fan, no matter what the circumstances are. Ah, oh, but Hood, the you know, fan yeah, attacked yeah, him yeah, first. What was he supposed yeah, to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. I, I, I get it. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. You know, fans are crazy. You know, and uh, yeah. if 30 years ago. I, I probably would have done much worse than this <laughs> yes, guy you did. It, you know, uh -huh. ended up in jail. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, but 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 he has to realize that WWE is the big leagues. Yeah, well, you know, well. this is not this is this is this is not in the garage. You know, this this is there's zero tolerance for that sort of thing. There's no ifs ands or, or buts yeah. about it. And then that that's why Triple H had no chance to but to pull his contract. No choice. Well, I would have liked to see him get a second chance. A, se a second chance. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he ain't even had him. He, he ain't even signed the contract. Yeah, for his first chance. All right. <laughs> you know, he, he, he didn't even earn a right for a second okay, chance. Okay, <laughs> fine, but let's talk about what's happened since then. The videos of the fight have gone viral, and BCW's capitalizing on the notoriety uh, by having their very first online pay-per-view. Uh, so it uh, seems as if Baron Blade and his protege are making a positive out of this, no? Uh, I, I, I will give him credit for that. Right. You, know, you, you got to strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. Right now, this, this guy's lava hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, we wouldn't be talking about them otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to order the pay-per-view? I do want to see what this guy's all about in the ring, you know. So I was thinking maybe you could order it at your house and I'll come over to watch. Yeah, I knew that was bring coming. Some chips and everything. Hey, yeah, what, yeah. What, what do I always say? It's, it's not how much you make. Is how much you save. Yeah, by mooching off your friends. Exactly. Well, now, you know, hey, look. I'll get the next one. <laughs> oh, famous <laughs> last words. Sure you will. Let's take a minute to hear from our advertisers who pay for this show and also allow me to afford to have you use my friend. Wow. <clears throat> okay, let's check this real quick. Dang, I got 12 already. Driver, rain. There we go. Oh, table finisher, okay.
Alright, set out of set. Okay, I'll go back there and then we'll continue 